Hello, beautiful people. It's Maddie Adams, and today we're cracking open one of the moon's most intriguing mysteries. Could our moon actually be hollow? Now, hold on. I'm not trying to say that aliens are there installing Wi-Fi routers, but some real questions have left scientists scratching their heads. And a few theories are straight out of science fiction. In fact, the 2022 movie Moonfall dives into this topic, albeit from a wild sci-fi Hollywood perspective. So let's start with what we know first, and then we'll drift into the deep end towards the end. Now, spoiler alert, I'm from Wisconsin, and I, I was devastated to find out that after all of this research, the moon actually isn't made of cheese. So what is it made of? Let's look into why the whole hollow moon theory even came to be in the first place and why people seem to think this. So reason number one is the Bell Effect. During the Apollo missions, NASA deliberately sent a spent rocket stage crashing into the moon. What happened next surprised everybody. The moon rang like a bell and it lasted for over an hour. Now, this doesn't actually mean the moon's hollow. The moon's crust is incredibly dry and rigid, unlike Earth's. That dryness allows seismic waves to bounce around far longer than they would on our damp, squishy planet. Think about how quiet it is when a blanket of snow is on the ground, and then think about how much your voice echoes inside of a cave made of hard rock. This should give you a good idea of what I'm talking about, but it still doesn't make it any less eerie or baffling. Reason number two, the moon's very low mass. So for something as large as the moon, it's very lightweight. It's about 1 80th the mass of Earth, even though it's roughly 27% of Earth's diameter. So if you notice, those two numbers don't quite match up. Now, most mainstream theories explain this by suggesting the moon formed from Earth's outer layers after a massive impact. And since those layers are made of lighter materials, the moon didn't end up as dense as you'd expect. It didn't get as much iron and more of the denser elements. So interestingly, the Earth and moon do share almost identical isotopes, and this is another reason why Scientists are pretty sure that that's why the moon and the earth um, formed in an impact together. So their chemical fingerprints match so closely that it does strongly suggest a shared origin. And this is one of the key reasons scientists believe a massive collision created our moon. So I'm sure this probably all makes sense to you, but this is where things start to get interesting. Reason number three, the mass concentrations mystery. So we mentioned these weird mass cons in our last video, link in the description. Dense regions under the lunar surface that mess with spacecraft orbits. Some scientists think these could be remnants of ancient asteroid impacts, but others, well, they've suggested that these mass cons could be part of a larger structure inside of the moon. And here's the kicker. Earth itself has some oddities too. If you dive inside of our, plants, our planet's mantle, scientists have detected two massive globs of dense material that don't quite fit with the rest of the Earth's interior. These anomalies seem to hint at a huge collision event in Earth's past, possibly the same one that gave birth to the moon. Reason number four, the weird orbit. The moon's orbit is strangely perfect. It's nearly circular, unlike most moons that wobble around in more chaotic paths. Some have speculated this might suggest artificial positioning. Yeah, I know, we're getting into the tinfoil hat theory here, but just bear with me. So let's get into some of the more crazy things. Some researchers have proposed that the moon's crust could conceal vast underground caverns, or even a hollow core. And this idea gained traction when scientific data hinted at strange voids beneath the surface. Of course, natural explanations like ancient lava tubes make a lot more sense, but hey, the hollow moon theory refuses to die. And you know, keep in mind when we were talking about Mars in our Mars video about lava tubes that a smaller object would have much larger lava tubes due to the low gravity. So you know, if there were lava tubes on the moon, they could be really, really massive and, you know, actually contribute to and give it some sort of like a Swiss cheese effect, actually, where you've got, you know, all these just areas of density and then areas of lack of density because it's just giant hollow tubes running through it. So theory number two, alien base. This one's total sci-fi, obviously, and this is, you know, inspired by the 2022 movie, but some theories claim that the moon was built, that it's an artificial structure that was designed to observe Earth. And they suggest that these mass concentrations could be anchor points or part of an enormous hidden framework of labyrinths. And while there's zero solid evidence for this, it's got that irresistible what-if factor. And 
For those of you who watch my, my Fermi Paradox videos, if you remember when we talked about the alien zoo hypothesis, you know, if a very advanced species of aliens were watching us, I'd like to think that a hollow moon base or even just small beacons on the far side of the moon could be a great way to observe us without knowing. Another reason people point to why it might be like a moon base or something is because um, all of the craters on the moon are oddly uniform. You know, so people have this theory that it's like, well, they only go so deep because the moon's actually like a metal structure or something, but it's just covered in, you know, thousands and hundreds of thousands of years of space debris. So what we see as the gray surface of it is actually just regolith and stuff that is compressed over the actual structure of this artificial moon that was created. So just you know, something wild to think about. And you know, some people have even posited that that's why the US hasn't gone back to the moon because someone or something told us off. Bum, bum, boom. Theory number three then, a natural oddity. Now here's the most realistic explanation since I know we got a little off the deep end on this one, but the moon's unusual density could simply be due to its formation. If it was born in the Earth's upper crust, these materials would naturally be less dense. Add a few lava tubes, some pockets of gas, and dry rock, and you've got something that's very ringy without being a giant space bell. So, you know, usually Occam's razor, you know, as much as we like to explore the, the fun and the fringe around here, it's usually the more simple explanation. But, you know, who knows? I like to keep you guys up at night. Is the moon hollow? Probably not. But the evidence leaves just enough room for us to wonder, and that's half the fun. Whether you're team alien base, team cosmic sponge, you think the moon is made out of cheese, or you're just here for the fun facts, there's no denying that the moon is one mysterious neighbor. So what do you think? Could there be something strange hiding beneath that dusty surface? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out the next video. I did a video a couple other videos on the moon already, so check those out as well. They'll be linked in the description and here on the end screen. Till next time, keep learning every single day.